At the end of The Sopranos, we see Carlo turn state witness to prosecute Tony. But did the betrayal occur earlier than that? Did Carlo side with New York during the war? Financially, Carlo was unhappy with Tony's decision to go support his cousin in the beef with New York. In fact, prior to construction, the majority of his earnings came from dealings with New York. It's a big part of my livelihood, that port. We know Carlo supported Phil's move on veto. He's out of line, but still, you kind of have to admire the guy. His relative, Bert, was already playing both sides of the matter. All Carlo had to do was remain intact to inherit an estimated leadership role. Decapitate, and we do business with whatever's left. It's why, despite being a high-ranking member, he was so somber and carefree during the war. Carlo would just have to deal with the aftermath. What he did not expect was New Jersey to come out with a peace deal with New York. As a result, Carlo was afraid of what this would look like. What would happen if New York would tell Tony that Carlo played both sides? Who could he turn to? It's why Carlo flipping was tied to the peace deal discussion starting. We're supposed to go see Fortune and Tom on a couple of items. Carlo didn't show. It was not his son's minor offenses in dealing. Thanks for watching.